Well, hello and welcome back to my office. If you're a regular here, if you're new, my name is Nick and I sell stuff on the inf internet. I sell stuff on the internet for profit. That's my job and that's what this channel is all about. Now for this video, I wanted to talk about a specific item that I do very well on. And I think it's something that perhaps most people would overlook. It's a common household item. You can generally pick them up cheap and they can sell for good money. And while I've just sold one, I'm about to package it up and send it off to its new owner. While I've got it here, I will show you and talk about it. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be this video. So the item in question is not exciting. It's not even remotely glamorous, but you can pick them up cheap and they sell, and they can sell for good money. What I'm talking about are steam cleaners or steam mops, this sort of thing. This isn't the one that's sold actually, this is another one I've currently got listed. This is a Morphe Richards, which tend to be the sort of lower end of the spectrum price wise. I think that one is on for 30 pounds, but I picked it up for a couple of pounds. Still some margin in that. The one that has sold today, however, has gone for 50. I'll bring it up on screen here so you can take a look. As you can see, it's got a whole bunch of accessories and different nozzles and stuff with it. I bundled it all in together, but I could have split that up successfully. And that sold for 50 plus the postage to cover the courier's cost. That one is a shark um, and they tend to hold a bit more value. Now a good tip if you want to get into buying and selling these, problem is with them they're quite bulky, they are rather long and awkward to package. But what I do, and it's relatively simple, is take them apart and ship them like this. The handles tend to come off, there's maybe one or two screws, you can lift the handle off. The heads tend to, to come off simply and then you've got the main body, you'll have a handle piece and a head and the rest of the accessories like that and then it's easier to ship. So that's a really good tip with these because if you get into trying to ship them as one constructed item generally it'll be over a meter long and you're yeah it gets expensive and awkward to package um, so yeah that's a good tip the other tip is with these you will need to test them it's not difficult pop some water in plug them in within a minute it's got a head of steam and that's all you need to know that the elements working and steam comes out at the end of it that's pretty much it. They are simple machines to test. And should you get one and you test it and it is faulty, let's say the element's gone or there's another issue with it, these are great to part out. I had one a while back, can't remember the brand on it, but I parted it out and it all sold and it all sold relatively quick. I thought they'd be long tail, but they sold quick. For example, the little, um, these little caps, for where you put the water in. Have a look on eBay. You can sell those for up to a tenner just for the little plastic cap. I know. And then the handles and the heads and the different attachments all have a market and a strong market. You can probably make more out of these by parting them out, but it's a quicker sale to sell it as a whole unit. But it's not just steam cleaners. I mean, household appliances in general, small electronic gadgets for the kitchen, um, any of these sort of cleaning products, handheld vacuums, all that sort of stuff. There's a really constant strong demand for that stuff and it's worth just having in the back of your mind and experimenting with it. I found out about these by taking a punt on something ages ago. It worked out, I've since experimented more, I've found out which brands are particularly good. And it's about, yeah, taking a chance on a few things, thinking outside of the box, and experimenting and learning constantly, right? Constantly changing up, trying new things, um, and experimenting a bit with what you sell. 
So, um, yeah, steam mops, steam cleaners, floor cleaners, all of those keywords. Have a look on eBay, you might be surprised. I tend to find these at uh, like yard sale events, jumble trail events, uh, but they probably turn up at boot sales fairly regularly. Remember that tip? Take them apart when you ship them. If you do employ that tip to make the shipping easier, make sure to just put in the listing that that's what you're going to do. So it's not a surprise to the buyer when it turns up in bits. And what I tend to do, if I take it apart like this, put the screw back in where it should be. I've actually put a little bit of sellotape over that to hold it in place. Um, but yeah, just put the screws back in where they should be. And then there's no confusion, everything's in the right place, you know. The screws don't get lost, that's a good tip. So there you go. If you do want to carry on watching this old fool talk about flogging stuff on the internet, then check this video out up here. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, I'll see you soon.